Hi everyone and welcome to this video on how you can get your first internship or job in any sort of field mainly focused on data science field. So in this video we will be discussing various ways in which you can get your first internship or job and we will be also exploring some of the most popular websites that people usually use in order to land their first internship or job and what are the best practices that you need to opt when you, whenever you want to get an internship or a job in any sort of field so these all things will be discussed in this video so without wasting any further time let's quickly dive into the video now before applying for any sort of job or an internship it is really expected uh, to have few things in your hand right so the first one is a good resume so resume is something that will define you to the company or to the hr right so resume is like a uh, like you will be presenting all your skills whatever you have done in the past whatever the projects you have done in the past so this will define your technical skills and uh, the way you present will uh, de like describe you itself so resume is the most important thing whenever you are applying for any sort of job or an internship so it is always suggestible to prepare a good looking uh, best formatted resume because this resume will either uh, get shortlisted by an ATS uh, which is like an automatic uh, automatic ML sort of uh, machine that will just use NLP techniques in order to do the shortlisting, uh, shortlisting part or it can be manually analyzed by a human itself so in both the ways uh, if, if it is going through an ATS your uh, resume should be well formatted with the right keywords and if it is um, seen by a human e even in that you need to have the right keywords and it should be good looking so you need to uh, keep in mind all of uh, all of these things and try to prepare your resume in a good uh, format and a good presentable way now second is skills skills is very much important right without skills nobody will even care about you and without skills you can't sell yourself to any uh, other companies that are present outside so, so sk uh, skills are very important you need to sharpen your skills and you should be really good at whatever you are doing you, uh, let's say you are applying for data scientist jobs then you should be uh, very good at skills that are required to become an actual data scientist so keep uh, keep this in mind without skills nobody will uh, hire you or nobody is gonna even look at you without any skills so skills are very important part so try to develop uh, good skills and be good at whatever you are doing so that is about skills and you should have right mindset it's not like whatever jobs or internship you are applying at uh, the right away you will get them or right away those will get shortlisted or right away you will get the reply so you should have this right mindset that uh, i will be uh, keep on applying and i will i may get the response after maybe maybe after one maybe after a week maybe after two months but you should have the right mindset that yes i will get it at some day or at some month or at some at some point of time but you should have the right mindset with the right skills and with the good resume so if you have these uh, things in your mind then you are good to go with apply like for applying for uh, jobs or internships so these are like the prerequisites before you are applying for a job or an internship now what are the different sites that are most popularly used in order to land their first internship or a job so first and foremost th foremost thing if you are uh, aiming for startups like startups are really good if you want to work as an intern because there you have a lot of work exposure and you get to learn a lot in startups as an intern so one of the best website is in angel.co that is angel list so if you look into this website uh, most of the startups post their internships or jobs in that particular portal so in angel.co is one of the best website if you want to work in a startup sort of companies or if you want to do internship in startup sort of companies and next comes the LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is one of the best platform in which you can use multiple ways in order to get your a job or an internship. You can network with people, you can connect with people, you can uh, either look into the post where they are uh, sharing some sort of information on job or an internship. You can either go, go to the jobs portal of LinkedIn in order to uh, find the internship or job. So there are multiple ways. We will be exploring them in the late, uh, in the later part of the video. So please stay tuned for that and next two foremost uh, websites are naukri.com and indeed.com so these two uh, websites are majorly used for full-time jobs uh, it might be for a fresher or it might be for experience 
but based on my experience snobbery and indeed will work for those of uh, those sort of people who already have an experience but if you are a fresher or uh, transitioning from one domain to another domain it is always suggestible to uh, prefer linkedin when compared to other uh, websites even in angellist uh, there are uh, angellist is a more sort of like startup focus so uh, most of the startups uh, post their jobs or internships in this angellist itself that is angel.co so you can explore uh, the jobs for startups in angel.co itself so in inshallah there is uh, another app called internshala where you can uh, majorly it is focused for internships there are also jobs available but mostly internshala is uh, used for getting internships and even for internships it is not that much pre- preferable because um, in that uh, for an intern i feel uh, they are underpaid like they usually pay 2k 3k so which is very less i guess and one more thing you should always keep in mind that whatever work you are doing make sure you, you are getting paid for that because whatever you are learning you are using them in order to develop yourself as well as to develop the company so keep in mind whatever you are doing you are getting well paid for that or at least make sure that you are being paid for whatever you are doing for the company without any payment don't do uh, like don't get an intern unpaid internship okay so it is always uh, good to opt for an internship that is always paid and when it uh, whenever it comes to job it is always paid right so whenever you are looking for jobs look for the right company do some research over uh, about the company and then apply for it now when it comes to your resume so resume is most uh, mostly the key part when it comes to shortlisting your application so look at the job description for which you are applying uh, put up the right keywords that are uh, suitable for the job description if you have some sort of experience you can put up the experience if you have some sort of projects you can put them in your resume now what are the best ways for getting selected uh, it's fine that right? you have uh, got uh, got to know the ways on which how you uh, like in which you can apply for jobs or internships now you want to get how you uh, how you can get shortlisted so in order to get shortlisted first of all you should have a strong portfolio so whenever you are applying uh, like if you are in a as a student if you are getting on campus that's a complete other case but you are when you're uh, applying like trying off campus basically for freshers or um, who are transitioning they should have a strong portfolio like they uh, either they should have uh, worked on multiple side projects or they should have uh, showcased their work by writing articles or research papers or any sort of other work so you should always showcase your work whatever you're doing if you're transitioning from one domain to another domain let's say you're transitioning to data science domain itself Uh, either it may be as a fresher or either it may be as a experienced one you should showcase your work and you should have a strong portfolio strong portfolio in the sense you should uh, at least uh, might have worked on multiple uh, side projects or personal projects or you should have some written uh, written some technical articles on data science or you should have done some research on some field even so these all are like the add-ons on uh, on your resume so whenever uh ats or any sort of hr is looking into a resume if you are an experienced experienced person they will all they will always try to look at the domain knowledge itself and apart from that they will also try to look at the skills now if you keep on adding the skills you should uh, they should you should prove them right so you have you really have those skills so in order to prove them you need to either uh, have worked on some sort of side projects or either you should have some relevant internship experience if you are not a fresher or um, like if you are a fresher if you want to get a job you should have either relevant internship experience or you should have worked on multiple projects or you should have both so if you have both internship experience and projects it's a really good thing uh, there are high chances of getting shortlisted now if you are a complete fresher and if you want to get an internship it is always suggestible uh, build, uh, build your portfolio by build, uh, working on multiple projects and if you are working on multiple side projects doing some open source work if you have written some multiple articles technical articles or you have done some research so these are all like the add ons if you have these sort of things in your resume uh, there are more chances of getting uh, getting shortlisted for an internship let's say you have uh, now let's say you have an ex- uh, you are an experienced person and you are transitioning to another domain or looking for another job so it's it's for, for sure that you will put up your experience in there and 
you should also showcase your skills right if you're transitioning some, from one domain to another domain so the other uh, company who wants like uh, let's say you're uh, you are a uh, you're a front end developer and you're uh, transitioning to as a data scientist so if you want to transition as a data scientist you should uh, also put up the skills that are required for the data scientist right you won't put up i know react js and all the front end frameworks right so it is always suggestible if you have domain knowledge and if you feel you uh, what are the companies you have worked for previously uh, those knowledge is suitable for the company uh, which you are uh, going to apply then you can put that experience in your resume and make sure that you have uh, worked on some additional projects personal projects it might be one or two but make sure you have put those project in your resume along with the uh, right skills for the job that you are applying so these are the mo- uh, main things that you need to take care if you want to uh, increase your chances of getting se- selected and next thing is upgrade yourself so there are multiple advancements happening day by day month by month year by year right so you need to upgrade yourself with all the skills all the advancements that are being done so you need to keep upgrading yourself and keep submitting applications it not it's not like you have submitted some 30 applications and your work is done so this is not going to happen you you should uh, keep on applying you can also submit 500 application 1000 application if you apply more so more applications then only you will have high chances of getting shortlisted so if, if you apply 30 applications and you're sitting ideally then there are less chances of getting responses right so apply as much as you can read the job description carefully tailor your re- resume and then submit the application and the last uh, last thing is never lose hope just keep hustling now you you will be keep on applying you might heard uh, some positive feedback or negative feedback or any sort of feedback from the recruiter but never lose hope keep on applying keep hustling work, keep working on your skills keep building your resume keep building your portfolio keep submitting your application and you will for sure land your first job or an internship on whatever domain you are working on so that that was about how you can build your portfolio and how you can tailor your resume and how you can submit your applications and what are the different websites that you can use in order to land your uh, first job or internship now let's check out some other websites so let's uh, first check the angel.co so i was telling you right uh, if you want to get a job or an internship at a startup uh, angel.co is one of the best website where you can search for so you need to create your profile add each and every detail that is related to your, related to your profile like if you want to become a data scientist add whatever the skills that are relevant or whatever you have learned till now add your projects add your work experience if you have any if you don't have it's totally fine now if you are looking for like data scientist itself see this is the tag right even you can add location uh, but for now let's uh, just look at the positions itself so here we can see there are multiple companies that are hiring for uh data scientists and they have this pay in dollars or in la- see these are all the pays that you can uh, go and analyze if uh, based on the experience they are asking based on the skills they are demanding you need to read the job description carefully and submit the application and you can simply click on this apply button and you can keep on applying so this was for data scientists you can even search for software engineers or mobile developers so if you uh, click on this mobile developer so there are multiple companies this might be startups this might be uh, grown companies or this might be some product based companies you should look at their portfolio like company's portfolio read the job description tailor your resume and apply for the job so that uh, that needs to be done in a very quick way because you won't be applying for only one company right so there will be multiple companies that you will be applying so this was one of the uh, way in which you can apply for internships or job now another another popular website is linkedin.com so this is most popularly used by most of the people and if you want to get an internship simply search for internship we search for internship see we can see this sort of posts uh, where they are asking like we have paid imp- internship opportunities where they are asking for 2020 pass outs 2022 pass outs so these are all people who are currently hiring for internships or jobs so this is one of the way like you can search for posts 
with uh, this particular tags like internship jobs or opportunities and you can try to contact those people or if they have any link you can directly apply via link but before applying just do some research like whether it's uh, really a good one or not so uh, you have to do that research on your own then you can apply for that now another thing is you can go to this jobs uh, jobs portal and if you want to search for data scientist you can search for data scientist you will find multiple jobs that are related to data scientists based on your experience based on your experience level uh, based on the skills that are that they are asking you can read the job description and apply for the jobs so this was another way you can also filter with the recent one like if you want to see what are the job opportunities that were posted in the past week with experience level of uh entry level you can see there are two key results you can just go through their job descriptions and try to apply them so this is one of the way and the next best way would be like let's say this is honeywell right you can go to this company's profile uh go to this people's page so these are all the people who are currently working as some sort of uh, position at honeywell so if you are looking for software uh, development role you can simply uh like contact those persons and simply ask for ask them for a referral or ask uh, or ask them whether there are any available positions for internships or jobs or one more better way would be uh, go to go to the company's careers portal uh, go through their jobs and if you find any one job that is suitable for you you can uh, like take that link contact uh, some some other persons in that company and ask for a referral Uh, by saying hey so and so i have so and so skills you can uh, can you provide me a refill uh, i have so much of experience or i have done so uh, uh, like lot of uh, projects in that domain so you can uh, frame some sort of message and you can do either cold emailing or cold messaging to multiple people and it is for sure that one of them will respond to you or even may provide referral to you so this is another way in which you can ask for jobs or internship so via linkedin there are multiple ways in which you can ask for jobs or internships and if you want to work uh, like getting internship at a startup is much easier than getting an internship at a big uh, product based companies and even in a startups pay a lot for interns and um, so this is one of the best website like angelist where you can search for internships or jobs so there are multiple filters as well like uh, what are the ex- expected salaries whether you want the equity or not what are your areas of interest what are the job details whether you want a contract job internship full time so uh, whether you want to be a co founder so this all depends on you you can apply these filters add the job title add a location and just uh, and then you're good to go so in this way you can uh, search for multiple jobs via angel list and linkedin so these are uh, two of the best website that i would suggest uh, in order to land your first job or an internship so i hope you got uh, some info on how uh you can apply for jobs and what are the different websites that are available in order to uh, get started for applying for jobs and how you can how they can help you for uh, landing your first job uh, in data science field or any other field so that's all for this key video guys i hope you got to learn uh, something from this video uh that's all for this video guys uh thank you